Hey guys, in today's video I'm going to be going through a vinyl record collection that I got for free but with a twist. I made a video similar to this in 2021 and this is kind of like a part two. This is all from the same person, part of the same collection. This is like the next round of records that they gave to us. My mom is doing consignment work for this. Her friend gave her this record collection to sell. So my mom is selling all of these records on her friend's behalf. They are splitting the profit. So the only reason why we got this collection for free is because we have to sell it. So if I wanted any of these records, I would have to pay for it. And for business reasons, this this is all being sold on eBay. So the records from the first video in 2021, most of those have actually sold on eBay. So these are all of the records that are left from the first video in 2021 and also some new records from the second drop of records that we got. So again, this is all from the same collection. This happened a long time ago, but I'm just now making a video on it. I think there's about 50 records in here. I will do a total count. So I'm going to do a flip through of all of the records and I'm going to, at the end, pick some out that I think are cool and I'll show them to you guys because some of these in here are really cool colored pressings. There's a lot of unique pressings as well so I'll show you guys some of the cool stuff that I saw.
a lot of it is classical easy listening but there's also some rock and pop i don't know all of these genres i don't recognize a lot of these artists either so this is all pretty much new to me and it's not my style it's a lot of older music but it does sell really good on ebay a lot of these are in really really good condition as well some stuff is like goodwill dollar bin finds like not great quality but a lot of it is really really nice quality like new and a lot of the records we have given over to goodwill just because of the quality and what the record is like it just it's not worth it to sell it on ebay so we have given a lot of stuff to goodwill but this is all that's left so i did help out with this project i helped my mom do research on all of these records i looked them all up on ebay and on discog so i knew what pressings we had so i can make the ebay listings i did pick out some records that i think look really cool and are worth showing but i don't personally listen to any of these artists i don't know if this was from the record store or the owner of the collection but this does have written on here it is marbled so let's take a look at that this one is such a really pretty pressing i really like splatter and i think the blue and white specs look really cool there's a little bit of green in it as well this is one where i really loved the cover i think it's a really nice aesthetic along with the title sunday nights i think it's really cool i love the dark blue and this is on a blue vinyl to match the cover in fact i think it matches the cover almost perfectly really really nice shade of blue there i love it very um vibrant like a royal blue i think this one looks really cool as well it says along the way and it's like a desert it reminds me kind of like of arizona or the grand canyon in arizona but <laughs> yeah i like the i like the desert aesthetic and the green and the colors it looks like a really cool filter or something and I think this is on neon yellow vinyl. Oh yeah, I forgot. This also has green in it, which I think is so cool. It's almost like 100% yellow, but there is like a, a large spot of green in the middle, which is really unique, really interesting color combination. And it definitely matches the cover art. This is on a clear vinyl. It's kind of like a milky clear because it's got a little bit of like a white in it. Um, it's not 100% clear. I do kind of like that though. It looks really nice. I think this is a jazz record. I don't know for sure, but just based off the cover, you've got this pianist here. Um, sorry, I have no idea who these people are. We've had this one for a long time and I really like it. It's probably one of my favorites and I have no idea who this is, Yee Sayer. It does say limited edition colored vinyl. Um, let's see if you guys can read that there. Yeah, so I've always loved this colored pressing. I would almost just keep it for myself just because of the color of the vinyl. Look at that. Isn't that so pretty? I love it so much. It's so beautiful. If I could, I would just hang it on my wall like that, but we have to sell these. <laughs> Last one, I don't know who this artist is. I don't know what genre, but I really like the colors. I love the bright pink, and I think this is really interesting. It's like one of those plague doctors, and it's like uh, inverted colors on the back, which is really cool. But this pressing has got to be one of my favorites just based off the color, because I really do love pink. This is a very pretty marbled pink. The base color is hot pink, but it's also got some white and darker shades and lighter shades of pink. So let me show you guys. And of course it's gotten an M on it for Mobius Strip, but I always thought it could be like M for Morgan if I hung it on my wall. That's another one where I would hang it on my wall just because it looks so pretty. And then I would say, yeah, it's M for Morgan, but I have to sell this. But of course I'd rather give it to someone who wants to listen to it and enjoy the music, not necessarily hang it up for art. <laughs> so we did acquire a really big record collection for free, but we do have to sell them. I'm very unfamiliar with these artists and genres. I honestly like did not recognize any of these um, records. I had to learn about them while doing the research. Even though all these records are listed on eBay because we have to sell them, it's still really cool to go through someone else's collection and see what they have. And I thought it would be really fun to show you guys. This person had really good taste, a really large collection. There were so many records in this box, but if you want to see more, check out part one that I put out in 2021 because that had like a hundred records in the collection. So this person had like 200 records. The first round we got had about a hundred and now we just got a second round which has what was left so about 50 more let me know if you guys recognized any of the records i showed or flipped through let me know if you guys have any of these records thank you so much for watching this video if you liked it please leave a like comment and subscribe and i'll see you in the next video bye